俺は逃げも隠れもしないいつでも来いよしやろうども行くぞ Hi guys, this is Superboo3 and today we're looking at Seiya from Saint Seiya while、well, on the Temple of Themes stage, which is from, also from Saint Seiya. Let's take a quick look at his moves. You might have seen me use him already in the Dynamic Arc, but I honestly didn't really bother looking at his moveset then. So, we've got the weak attack and strong attack strings, his area attack, guard break, yeah, weak strong combos. Pretty standard affair here, nothing unique at the moment. Oh, he's got air combos, which are nice, and he can charge over the maximum of his bar. Okay, three specials, the circle we can keep tapping, and he needs to click his ultimate attack twice to actually activate it. And he's got no special actions,、uh, well, outside of the standard. This is the square chain.、Uh, that seems to end on what I think is his up circle, although I'll just test that out now. Whoops. This is his up circle. Yes, the same thing. That's square to triangle. I think what I did a second ago was actually his、uh, air combo with the square button, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll just double check that later. That's triangle to square. And this is. Oh no, wait, that was the triangle to square already. Whoops, my bad. I just did it twice. I need to do the full triangle combo. That's the full triangle combo, just to knock back. So his triangle to square is a launcher. Thanks, Luffy. That's his hammering circle move. And his R1 circle there is a grab, which looks awesome. I'm sorry, Luffy. I'm just going to see if I can charge up to his maximum. He can transform. Although I've actually just seemed to very much annoy Luffy doing that. Alright, R1 square. Okay, that does not seem like a very good attack. You press it once and he actually does two kicks. That just is going to leave you wide open if you whiff it. Oh wow, it doesn't. His hit detection is pretty lousy for what's meant to be an area attack as well. If you'd noticed, I was right behind him and it kind of missed. That's his R1 triangle, which is just an uppercut. This is a guard break as well. Okay, so I think I'm going to try and land these air combos. That's his square one. Okay, that didn't end well. Okay, now we can go into his ultimate mode. So he transforms, which I assume is going to give me an offensive and defensive bar. Oh no, wait a minute, sorry. Now that's the transformation, so I just activate the victory burst first. <laughs> Luffy seems to be legging it and aware of the danger. That seems to do a decent amount of damage. My specials don't seem modified while I'm in this mode. Nah, they're not. Yeah, he's got a 
he, he's got a decent enough move set. I'm just gonna finish the round now. Um, I'll see if I can use the launcher to get some of these other moves in on him now. Oh, actually, and I want to check his dashing attack, which I haven't actually managed to land. Although with Luffy in gear second now, this is going to be even tougher. I think air combos are generally dreadful. I don't, I don't see how else I could have timed that jump to not just completely miss it there. So I mean, it's nice that he has them, but you've got to be aware just that they're very limited use. I think the best air move I've seen yet is Yusuke's guard break because it was a good position to use it from while you're in the air as well as um, on the ground and obviously it's got guard break qualities so it's just a very good move I mean if we're talking about his specials that one's pretty decent this is questionable I'm not too keen on it and I guess it's nice to have an actual grab it's probably better than having the counter because a lot of the ones with the counter I do question the use of that anyway guys thanks for watching and until next time